Hey everybody, here's a disclaimer for this episode. We're going to be talking about, well, poo. So if you're not into that, you may want to skip ahead to the next episode. Thanks for listening. Without further ado. Everybody, hello and welcome back to Press B to Cancel. My name is Guy Prime. I'm going to introduce my cohorts with me here in just a moment. But first, I want to explain that today is a very special episode of Press B to Cancel. We typically like to discuss video games and other retro sorts of things, but today's going to be a bit different. We're going to talk about the new Mortal Kombat movie? Oh, man. I, I could. I could do a full, like, four-part series of episodes <laughs> on the new Mortal Kombat movie. Those were $500 oh, sunglasses, asshole. <laughs> Didn't he break his wrist when he punched Goro in the dick? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. So Okay, anyway, that is not what today's episode uh, is about. I will tell you all, I want to keep everybody in suspense if I can, uh, and then I will wash everybody off with a cool, refreshing bit of information <laughs> once I introduce my, my, my friends today. Uh, with us, as always, Sick Jake. Go ahead and say hello, sir. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing great now that you're here, buddy. Uh, we got Werewolf. Go ahead and say what's up, Wolf. Hey, I'm feeling pretty good today. Nice. And, as always, Pulse 109. I really need to poop. Did you, did you not know that we were recording this at, like, this time? Crap. <laughs> so, as many of you may have deduced... Uh, today is a very poop-centric episode. Uh, not so much about poop, but about bidets. So for anybody who's familiar with podcasts, we occasionally will do an educational series called What the Actual Fuck Is, where Jake, Wolf, and Paul try to educate me on something I have no clue about. And today it is bidets. Why? Because of the four of us, I am the only one who does not own nor use a bidet. And I don't really get the point or what the hype is about, but these other three guys, they they seem to swear on it. So I, I do want to go ahead and address this. I, I, I know I'm already kind of like monopolizing the, the words here. I can be a bit crass and profane. I understand that. It's a character flaw. I'm working on it. In that sense, I will be trying to dial back the absurdity because, yes, it's already uncomfortable. We're going to be discussing poop and cleaning that area. But I want everyone to know this episode is about much more than just how clean the surface of your butthole is, okay? I mean, here at Press Me to Cancel, we're all about self-improvement and education. That's right. It's about how clean the surface of our buttholes are. So, yeah. Who should, who, okay, where do we start? Who bought the bidet first? Where did this start off? Werewolf. <laughs> yes, tell, tell everybody, for anybody who, who doesn't know, what is bidet? Uh, bidet is a, I, I, I guess there's multiple uh, versions. Mine <laughs> is an attachment to our toilet that sprays water at, uh, you know, your, your, hoo -hoo. <laughs> your back door your hoo -hoo. and, and, and cleans the mud away. Oh, God. <laughs> it really helps with the Adobe. <laughs> I've already said butthole like nine times. Do we need to like establish a shorthand? Do we want to say anus or do we just want to make euphemisms? Trust me, I'm fine with either because I know them all. Uh, oh, also, real quick, very important fact. Any brand names of bidets that is used on today's episode, I want everybody to know we are not yet, I suppose, sponsored by any companies named, nor do our opinions or comments reflect the opinions of those of the company. We sure as hell tried, though. <laughs> yeah, we we pushed and we pushed hard missing out on that sweet sweet bidet money <laughs> like these things aren't new these things bidets are from like the 1600s right okay so you you do your business or you do your mission as my five-year-old said wait 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 wait. i got one okay Pre okay pre press bidet to cancel i'm so proud of you paul <laughs> thank you it's raising that bar every week <laughs> we we get a lot of emails telling us how much people are entertained by us. And I just want to say we always push for a solid product. 
So, um, <laughs> really? I thought that one would get like. You got me. Well, I got the reference. <laughs> yeah. I knew what you were saying. All right. Anyway, so um, you poop and then you press a button and water shoots on your pooper. Is that basically the extent of it? What's what am I missing and why is it so great? Uh, Paul, tell me about it. If you're missing, you need to calibrate and aim correctly. Actually, no, they're pretty much straightforward, straight shooting right away. So Universally, are people's buttholes located in the same like area when we use the crapper? I don't... There's going to be some shifting, I'm sure. But, I mean, you know. It, it can't be a one-size-fits-all. I mean, every once in a while, I have to adjust because I, I hit the can at a different angle than last time. But Sure. Yeah, okay. when you straddle the seat, it's it's a little bit different. Now, Pulse, do you still uh, sit backsies, or have you started going knees out front like like the rest of us? You know what? I actually have a milk crate for my feet because I'm too cheap to buy one of those squatty potties. Well, and I can understand that. A squatty potty is not like in-depth technology. That's just something you can use. But I remember when it, when when you and I first started talking, you had told me to try sitting backwards on the toilet uh, and use the the back part as a headrest, which I always thought was a cool little life hack. So you don't do yeah. that anymore, okay? Like a recliner? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> no, no. Like almost, almost like you know when they pray in church and they have their knees on the pew thing. Well, and... hold on. Let's let's keep it holy now. <laughs> I suppose it could make a good reading desk. <laughs> Yes, uh, exactly. Like you can you can put your Bible or whatever book that you want to read. Like I'm not going to judge. You can read whatever you want. You can read the Necronomicon. It's it's all good. <laughs> Just you have that perfect um ta- tablet space basically for you to read. So that's why you can straddle it. Paul's sh- just maximizing the use of the cistern. Well, I- I'm trying to visualize this. <laughs> I'm sorry. So you're like what? high school chair straddling it backwards the toilet. Yeah, yeah, and then you can lay your head down on the back, like you know, again you're sleeping on a high school desk. You know what I mean? Just yeah, it works better if you have one of those elongated toilet seats. Mm-hmm. Right. Sure, sure, sure. And there's no like we... stains on the back wall <laughs> if you well, miss. Well, that's why it works. I would imagine that's why it works better if you have a long elongated toilet seat. So oh, yeah, okay. werewolf knows. Okay, very good. Now, uh, Jake, we haven't. Forgive me on this one. We haven't touched on you yet. When did you first come around to using a bidet? And what were your initial thoughts upon first use? All right, so for me, I had a chance to... I got to have the warm water. I got to have the warm water. I need the warm water. (laughs) Shut up. Go backwards face your toilet (laughs) in the corner (laughs) and study. I went to Japan (laughs) a couple years ago with my daughter. And Japan, when it comes to certain things are like in another just stratosphere of technology. And toilet technology is like amazing in Tokyo. I've never been so impressed. Forget the big screen TVs, the four-way traffic stop, none of that. Bidets and toilets in Japan are amazing. The one, we, we stayed at Airbnb, 35 bucks a night, super cheap, small little house, very nice family. Their toilet, <laughs> even though it was a small closet, was the most amazing thing. We're talking a ring light, LED light. It played nature sounds, okay? Heated seat, all right? And then it had a bidet. No, and it no, did, no. yes, Polsh, have temperature control. You had access to instant warm water on demand for your butthole or cold water if you wanted. And that was like the home toilet. And I, I, I should have asked them how much it paid for it, but I don't imagine it's very much because these things in Japan are fucking everywhere. Like, if we go into a mall or we go to Disneyland, I'm telling you, I've never enjoyed myself more at Disneyland than at a bathroom in Tokyo, Disney Sea. Like, it's amazing. So, my first experience to bidets was there. And I've always wanted one back in Canada, but they are super expensive. Like, a proper bidet is like hundreds of dollars. So, really? Yeah. Okay. And then you have to plummet and like have a bathroom big enough to fit basically a second toilet because they're the size of another toilet. Like when you see them in movies, you think, oh, that's a water fountain. But no, it licks your ass, not your tongue. Yeah, it's, it's like a reverse water fountain. The water licks you. Yeah. 
good God. Okay, so I was given to understand that bidets were just like an attachment to your toilet, something that you could just add on like post-factory. But you were saying you got to have like a lot of space for this. Well, that's what a, a, an original bidet is. Like, you know, it's a separate fixture. But mm-hmm. the ones that we got, yeah, they're they're accessories. They're after the fact. Right, they're aftermarket. But you can, you can just put them on. Like, is it a is it a toilet seat that you replace the old toilet seat and then put on this new thing that's got a hang down? Okay, so the one that Paul and I have, because we have the same model. Um, it... You guys are adorable. <laughs> Matching bidets, as you do. <laughs> it attaches underneath the toilet seat that you already have on the toilet. So you remove the seat, put it on, put the seat back over it, secure it all together, you're good to go. And the water that runs through it, um, it tees off of the water line that heads to the toilet. So you put it between the toilet line and the wall, and it pulls so it So it's water there. that was... It was destined for the bowl, anyways. Yeah, it's from the tank. Yes, but okay. it's it's pre-tank water, so. Okay, so follow up question, and I think this is probably one of the top two or three questions on everybody's mind. Are there pressure settings, uh, or is that again kind of like a one size fits all sort of thing? I I don't know about others. This one is a lever, so the further you twist it, the harder it's going to shoot you. And mm-hmm. the first time I used it, it hurt. I did. <laughs> I went a little too far to the right, and it shot me, and I was in pain. I had to turn it down. You you got to ease into it. You can't just turn it on full blast, or you're not gonna have much of your hole left. Dude, I've never <laughs> gone full power with mine. Not even. Close. I haven't either, and it still hurt. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What model did you guys get? That it's you can't go warp nine on this thing. <laughs> It's the Brondell, all right. <laughs> you can't you can't booty douche right away like that's that's pro level bidet. You got to go entry level bidet. Okay, I I don't know. It, it might be different if your water pressure is lower, but the water pressure we have here is pretty high. So okay. when I turn it on just a bit, it's already pretty high power. Like if I if if I wasn't in front of the toilet and the door to the bathroom was open, I could probably hit the curtain across the master bedroom from the toilet if I turned it on full blast. <laughs> okay. So, so we're talking a good 20. This thing's better than a squirt gun, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. By far. Okay. Like, squ- super soakers <laughs> could learn a thing or two from bidet technology. <laughs> from bidet the latest in bidet technology. And I I have accidentally bumped it to where it shot the bed a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that was the whoops. Guys, what I why installed... are we not making videos for this? We need to make some sort of content for Patreon <laughs> or something like that. That's... When when I installed mine, just to make sure that it worked, I was like, I'm going to turn it ever so slightly. And I did the tiniest bit. And it was like, it felt like off or on is what I was thinking because it shot me straight in the chest and I was like whoa <laughs> from the inside I don't that's not right no like I was I like I was, took out the seat I put the bidet in put the seat back on and before I tightened down the like the the nuts for the toilet seat I, I was like okay I want to make sure this works so I turned the water back on and I'm just kind of like looking into the bowl and then I turned it just a little bit just to see if it would like you know dribble out and okay. no it wasn't dribbling out it just whoosh, straight in the face and i was almost and it was just like chest soaked and i was like well well, okay that works okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna segue off of that uh because that's gonna address the next big question speaking of nuts has anybody gotten shot god dang it i can't believe this is the actual question i have to ask on the back side you know uh is anybody yeah you'd have to hover you guys you get you understand the question, right? Yeah, it's adjustable. Mine is adjustable. It's a slider. There's a slider, and you can hit the front or the back. It's meant for you know the ladies, although my wife hates it on the front. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, you could totally, if you really want to, squirt that area. Or honestly, you just kind of just butt dance to get the right alignment. I find to hit what you want to hit. Okay. So what you're saying is you basically have a stationary thing. It's adjustable, but you keep it in the one spot. Then you adjust to the bidet. Yeah, yeah that's how I do easier. it. Easier. Yeah, that's easier that way. Okay, it's kind of like if you're sit if you're sitting in a chair right now, but you you know you 
kind of swivel without moving your legs or anything. You know, you, you, I'm, I'm that's legit doing that right now. Yeah, posture check. Yeah, yeah, posture check. Okay, yeah. Otherwise, it will it will adjust your posture for you. <laughs> <laughs> Positive reinforcement. Look, the first time, the first time definitely uh, adjusted me. I gotta say, I was like, Whoop! Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have to check with Disney to see if that that little <laughs> that sounded very Mickey esque. And that's where the voice comes from. <laughs> yeah. like, see, oh God! <laughs> so when I ordered mine, I got the the Tushy, which is if you if you look at bidets right now on Google, you're probably gonna get an ad for the Tushy 3.0 Spa. And it's like okay. all the memes, right? Twenty different names for the pooper scooper or all that stuff on online. And it's like a hundred bucks, and I bought it because I thought it came with a toilet seat. Because the toilet we have when we moved in here actually doesn't have a cover. It's like mm-hmm. it's like the toilets you go to the mall, the black U. That's what we have. And I'm sick of my cats drinking of the goddamn thing. So I wanted a proper <laughs> toilet seat. So I told my wife, look, it's a little bit more money, but it's a bidet and a toilet seat. So I'll get this one. Then, you know, two weeks later it shows up and it's just a bloody attachment. So I still have no toilet seat, but I have a bidet attachment. So... A little disappointed. That's a bummer. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, I, I need a toilet seat, but yeah, it seems it would be important. Jake wouldn't believe us either when we said you don't need the hot water. It's like he wants warm water on his on his tushy from the tushy, and we're like, no, you don't. No, you don't. I mean, we live in Canada, like the Arctic. It's it's minus fifty even in summer. I live in the Arctic. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> I live further north than you do. Yeah, that's actually that's probably true. <laughs> It is true. We've looked it up. <laughs> Fine. You're more Canadian than I am. Are you happy? <laughs> I'll turn in my plaid. No, he's he's not happy. He's sorry. <laughs> That's how you know. That's how you know. So, okay, then, Jake, let me ask you this. You you sprung, you paid the extra money for the tushy, which gets you the hot water or the warm water. Have you tried both warm and cold? So, no. So, the problem with the, the warm water, right? The cold water, like Wolf mentioned, you have to tap it into the, the, the hose in the back of the toilet. But for the warm water, it has to go to the sink. And the way we have our sink cabinet, there's drawers there. So I have to drill through the cabinet and the drawers. And we're renting, so I don't want to damage their shit. Oh. So I debated running a, an external hose, you know, all nice and ghetto style <laughs> across the sink. <laughs> I thought better of it, though. So I haven't tried it. The only reason I wanted it is because in Japan, that's what I got to try. And it feels amazing. But I think what it is is I'd rather a heated seat rather than wait for the water to warm up because in this house, it takes five minutes to get hot water anyway. And like the guy said, the cold water, honestly, it's fine. It's it's not. It'll wake you up in the morning, but that's Yeah, it will. <laughs> yeah. It's refreshing. Especially after a uh, hot and spicy wig night. So. Oh, yeah. And I know, I know Jake partakes in the sauce of hot, so... Uh... Yeah, that ghost yeah. pepper pepper sauce. It's it's it haunts you two a.m. But this thing makes it all better. I'm still waiting for my hot sauce shipment. By the way, Jake. Well, you have to talk to the United States <laughs> Postal Service because those assholes can't find where you live. <laughs> right. So okay, Polish, I gotta I gotta give you like five points because you keep giving me all the best one liners for like transitioning. Right. Okay. So you're welcome. We all know that there are different types of bowel movements uh you know both in texture and consistency i don't know what to say uh as well as odor so um will a bidet clean your your booty hole no matter what comes out like does that make sense i'm trying to think of the most like delicate way of saying this without grossing people out (laughs) well Look at it this way, you know. Remember, say the early nine or early two thousands when Axe body spray came out, and that was like the joke was shower in a can. This is essentially what Axe was trying to do, but without the bro stank. So, like, yeah, I think, I think it's really good. I think but you it's... don't put Axe body spray in that part of your body. Yeah, you may have been misusing Axe. Yeah, you don't squirt it up there. Yeah, you what? don't put it up. My your axe. you lied. <laughs> Mom, you lied. <laughs> Dear Lord. Okay, so have, have any of you three ever ever dropped heat and then used a bidet and it has not done the trick? No, no. Well, look at it this way: any anything that's gonna not 
do the trick for that, you're you're going to be screwed when it comes to using toilet paper. Yeah. And that actually, again, with the segues, do you still have a need for toilet paper? Yes. Otherwise, you're going to be walking away with a wet butt. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's more like a little dab will do you. You know, just keep it, keep it, uh, just uh, towel yourself off slightly. So, so here's here's why we installed the bidet at our house is initially we had bought this for my mom. She kept being too scared to use it, and she gave it back to us before we moved up to Washington. <laughs> Early last year, we all know what hell was released upon the world, and then for some reason everybody went nuts and bought all the toilet paper. Yeah. In an effort to try and extend how long our toilet paper was going to last, we finally said, let's get this bidet installed. And it worked out. So ever since, we we use a lot less toilet paper in the house, which is good for things anyway. Yeah, it's better for the environment, better for your pocketbook. Like I use better for your butthole. bare minimum. Then better for your butthole, yeah. Yeah, it's paid itself off already. I got mine in, what, November or something? And I haven't even gone through half a dozen rolls of toilet paper since. Like how much was wow. yours, your model again? Uh, Like 50-ish. 50 bucks, right? It's totally worth the 50 bucks. Yeah. And there's 70 for us Canadians. Canadian pesos. Right. <laughs> Non-segue here, but I want to make sure, because again, for anybody who's listening, thank you. I, I hope, <laughs> well, this is the thing, like, this is actually very educational for me. And if I can get my wife to sign off on it, we will buy a bidet and then we'll do our, you know, follow-up episode with that. Um, you let me but talk I, to the wife, all right? Well, that's that's where I need to go with this next is uh, for the ladies. I know you had said, Jake, that uh, the missus up there is, is not as much of a fan with the front cleaning action. Is it safe to use? Like, I, again, I'm trying to think of the best way to say all this. Is it sanitary to use it for both front seas and back seas? It's clean water coming out of it. It's yeah, it's yeah. water that's above the toilet water line. And it's, it's cleaner than the water in the tank. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. It's okay. it's completely fresh water, and it's got us. Uh, ours has a little self cleaner thing, but it's not like you really need to use it because nothing really gets on it. And plus, the part that shoots you is usually tucked away, hidden away. So once you hit the hit the lever to make it shoot you, it like pops down like a little turret. And it, <laughs> a, it, a turd <laughs> turret. Yeah, it's a turd <laughs> turret, and it shoots you. And you're good to go. And then once you're done, once the water pressure is relieved, it sucks back up into its hole and it's good to go. Really? So, Mine doesn't move at all. It just sits there staring at you like the <laughs> eye of Sauron. When you're... No, ours hides oh away God. and it's hidden behind a little barrier and everything. Yeah. The brown eye of Sauron? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. Here I am trying not to be gross. The eye of Sauron is what it's aiming at. All right. That's true. To address your concern, Wife Wolf uses it for the front and the back, and it's fine. We've we've been using ours for a year now, and it's great. We don't we don't have any issues with it. No, my wife is scared of it. <laughs> is she scared of it for the back and the front, or just the front? Because I know she was hesitant on the back. So she didn't want to use it at all for a few days, mostly because she was worried about the cold water and the shock of it. And I finally talked her into using it. So she's used it for the, the back, and she says that's fine. But I think she's just telling me she's using it and she's not. Because <laughs> we're still going through rolls of toilet paper left and right. But she did say for the front, she didn't like it. It was too cold for that area. And I, I get that. My kids, I try to explain it to them. And anytime I mention how it squirts up your backside, they just start giggling. They, they think I'm joking. <laughs> they, don't, they don't know. Maybe if we had it when they were younger. I think, but I think that, I think that time has come. It's gone. I don't think I can train my kids again on toilets our kid is afraid to use our toilet because he doesn't like the bidet he tried the bidet once <laughs> he said it hurt and never again <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah that's that's right because i've got a an eight-year-old and a five-year-old and they're you know they've mastered the toilet but it would be an interesting thing like i i, I kind of get what jake is saying if it didn't start off as like a way of life for a child, it might be confusing and or off-putting. But I think if they'd grown up with it, maybe they'd be like, yeah, this is just how it is. Why do you not have one? 
Yeah, so why don't you have one? Like, that's the thing, because bidets are, they're, like I said, they're not new, 1600s. They're popular all around the globe, just not North America. <laughs> I have no idea why. Maybe it's the the Puritan roots. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> That toilet feels like sinning. Yeah, seriously. You have to <laughs> scrape with this rough rag. Uh, In the yeah. eyes of God. You can't use oh, well. you can't this luxury. Or there's, you know, there there are wipes. And at some of those they they burn. Not only do they burn, but they also will clog your plumbing so that you'll have yeah, to Yeah, you got to for... get you have to get the wipes that are like there's no such thing, man. No, there. We found that there are certain. There's like literally one brand of wipes we can trust because they tear super easily, but they also clean and they don't mess with you. So that's what the kid uses, and they're like mm-hmm. literally newborn baby wipes from Target. They're, they're the Target brand. Those are the only ones. Wait, they're made. They're made from what? Not, not from. They're they're from Target. Like they're the Target brand. So the wipes are made of people. Up and up. Oh, okay. So <laughs> as wipes go, those are the only wipes we can get because, one, they don't hurt. Two, they tear really easily, so we don't feel bad flushing them. Sure. And they're not massive either. So <laughs> Kiddo uses um, that, keeps his butthole relatively clean. But the the bidet is far better than wipes even. But, I mean, if you, if you, if you can't, at least do wipes, your butthole is not clean at all. Target baby made wipes, unofficial sponsor. Press me to cancel. Look, I just want to say right now, since we're using the like the religious allegory, I want to say the holy trinity of number two is a toilet, a bidet, and a squatty potty. I agree. And when I say squatty potty, I don't mean I don't mean like the brand name. I just mean oh put God. your feet up on something higher so you're in a different angle. Oh, I mean the brand name because the other ones are usually too high. Oh, dude, I got I got a milk crate. That thing's like <laughs> literally a foot tall. Yeah, you're like kissing your knees. Yeah, it's too high. Yeah, I want to enjoy <laughs> my time in the can. Not you know. I can listen to my blood vessels in my knee. <laughs> <laughs> a whole new yoga pose. Jokes on you, man. My circulation is terrible. <laughs> All right, so I, I wanted to try to come up with a question that I felt would be unique to each of you. Like, I'm not sure if maybe everybody has the same thing here, or if it's different, or if you even have ever paid attention to this. What is your technique? Is maple syrup. Oh, no, God, what? No. Is it maple syrup? No, what? Okay. man. Not everything is maple syrup, damn it. Most things are. No, no, no. The question is, when you're dropping heat and you have a bidet, do you um, let the product come out first and then spray and then more poo and then spray again? Or do you evacuate everything and then spray at the very end right before you flush? What's what's the Depends if it burns. What? Yeah, generally, if it's hot, if it's wing night, then yeah, I'm going to give myself a break in between. <laughs> if you've been eating some spicy food lately, you probably want to give yourself a little relief before you continue. See a doctor. Both of you guys, see a fucking doctor. <laughs> Look, man, with the milk crate, the milk crate makes it so that I'm in and out in less than two minutes. Well, there's, where's the fun in that? Yes, that, I'm with Jake. Yeah, I want, I want the full experience. I want at least one level in Mario. At least one. Man. <laughs> I got two kids and a wife, man. I don't get much quiet time in my daily life. The five to ten, fifteen minutes I'm in the toilet, maybe sixty. That's the only quiet time I get. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't I love how I threw that me. maybe 60 in there. <laughs> well, <laughs> we call those Mondays, okay? Yeah, you guys should tell Sinistar that's the rule now. You get one level of Mario. He's like, great, that'd be four hours. I love it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, well, my reference right now is Mario 3D World. But... Oh, okay. Because the Switch can go with me. <laughs> if you want to extend how long it takes, you can just try standing over the toilet, but I don't think that's going to be very good. Well, then I need a funnel. That, they don't make that yet. <laughs> and see, my rule with my what I tell my wife is, if I if I give her the heads up that it's going to be a moment, my rule is I get to listen to one episode of Press B to Cancel at 50% speed. That usually takes care of it. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I know what your wife's going to say. She's going to knock on the door and say, you okay in there? And you'd be like, yeah, yeah. She's like, all right, give it hell. Right. 
She she typically would be very supportive, but uh, after about five minutes in the restroom, my son uh, thinks that I'm doing some sort of team sport that he needs to be included in. Uh, so, <laughs> and honestly, like, I, if you just said the bidet is a time saver, uh, that alone would get the foot in the door, as it were. Because honestly, if I can if I can come away feeling more clean than just with toilet paper, like I, I'm accustomed to toilet paper, as I think most people are. But honestly, it the idea of toilet paper is kind of gross. So I like that you're saying yeah. it's more for drying than poo smearing, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah totally. Exactly. So like that that right there. I have to say cool. something. Yeah, go for it. I have to say, okay, so with the whole pandemic thing, kids are doing the virtual school. Mm-hmm. You want terrifying? You're relaxing for your 10, 15, 60 minutes on the toilet. And then your kid barges in the bathroom to ask you a question about school and her webcam is fucking on her laptop <laughs> and you're greeted with the faces of her class and teacher let me tell you something that's nightmarish did that happen oh yeah yo no for real did, did that happen yeah, yeah. so ha- like thankfully the playing, camera's dude, angled up in the ceiling yeah that totally happened dude they walk into me in the bathroom all the fucking time all the time get a lock i i have to say I have experienced this, and it's easier yeah. for my kid because he's got a tablet he does this on. <laughs> look, Daddy, look. I'm like, no. He comes winging, his, winging around into the bathroom, opens the door. He's got the tablet facing me. It's like, dude. We had to have a frank discussion about when to turn off the webcam. Like, no joke. Wow. Always. Thank you. I needed that laugh. Like, cause my, my kids have had to do remote, you know, a couple times this year. I, like they were off basically for all of December doing remote from home. And yeah, like I had that fear. Like what if they're going to drag the computers around the house? But then I just, I mean, I fucking locked my bathroom door. Why do you guys not lock the bathroom door? You know, I look I, three women in this house, man. And just me, I'm already outnumbered. I'm already a defeated man. <laughs> I, don't, I, I gave up. Dear Lord. For all the qualities in my son I love, discretion is not one of his finer ones. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, well, no, I, I just said that's, that's... Yeah, go ahead, Jake. I'm sorry. Or, Paul, sorry. I'm so processing what no, happened to Jake. No, that's that's <laughs> fine. So am I. I'm just saying. I, I had to go to work last month. Like This is about three weeks ago. And it was the first time I had to go number two that I wasn't home. And so I had to use toilet paper like oh. a, you know, like a he, like a heathen. <laughs> Barbarian. I, yeah, I felt like I wanted to go home and get a shower afterwards because <laughs> I'm just so used to the bidet now. So I was just like kind of shy, stink keeping my distance from people. I'm like, just like this, it was this unconscious shame mm-hmm. that I, I hadn't felt in a long time. <laughs> Yeah, just saying. Like it's it's Yeah, that not so fresh feeling. It was a traumatic experience and basically I, I want I'm gonna gift bidets to my friends and family now. Yeah. You know, someday. It's One the day. perfect secret Santa gift. Okay, wait, it, yeah. Are you saying that this is akin <laughs> to air fryers? You try an air fryer and I, I can oh. attest, I'm I'm on that I'm in that cult now. I I love my air fryer. And I think we also had a pressure cooker last year. So is this gonna be my annual I have to convert everybody to using this product now. Is is the bidet? I mean, it's not a kitchen appliance you want to put in there. It, it wouldn't fit that <laughs> sink. But uh, honestly, if you're going to get an air fryer and the wings, then yeah, the bidet is a perfect follow up gift this year. They, they should bundle those. They should bundle those. Absolutely. They really should. <laughs> well, I've been I've been prepping in my own time for this. Like, we have a shower that's got like a dedicated shower head and then a removable, you know, shower head. Uh, so I I've been hitting the back door. Uh, with that, during the showers, you know, just to get extra clean. And I I think I'm with Jake in that I enjoy that and I do feel clean afterwards. But I think I've gotten accustomed to the warm water with that. So I, I think my fear is going to be that cold water. You'll get over it real quick. The first time, like I said, the first time when I did the, like the goofy screech or the Mickey screech or whatever the hell the copyrighted sound effect was that I did without trying. Yeah, Ricky Rouse. That, yeah. that. Yeah, Ricky Rouse. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was it. Afterwards, like for the first like two or three days, I was kind of like hesitant, and I was like, mm, I'm kind of you know, and you're like bracing myself and kind of dreading it. And then afterwards, it was just like 
on or off, you're just like, oh, okay, good enough. And then that's it. Like, it does not take long to get used to. Okay. Okay. Now, it's a it's a button or it's a lever, but does it know how much water to shoot out? Like, is it a solid stream for like two seconds? Or is it just like a little... Or... No, as long as you got it open. It's like a faucet. With the lever, yeah. if it's on, it's on. And you did, until you put it back to off, it's still running. Okay, and so do you guys have like a system of like, well, I had spicy stuff, it's going to be a solid five-second stream? Or is it just kind of until... Like, do you know when you're clean? I play it by cornhole. Yeah. And, uh, and just kind of <laughs> wing it. I don't know what that means at all. You lost me at cornhole. Sometimes you have more stuck back there than you realized, uh-huh. and you go to wipe, and you see there was more back there than you realized, so you spray again. Okay. Yeah, you just sit back down and go for round two. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> but honestly, a few seconds will do it, and yeah. it's fine. You get a feel for it. <laughs> you get a feel for it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just a bidet is such a bizarre <laughs> contract. Like, even just the idea. I'm, st- I'm, I'm just now coming to the table with, like, coping with it, and... I've already kind of committed to you guys to do this so long as... Because I know my wife is going to be like, fuck yeah, let's do that. The reason I haven't mentioned it to her is because I wanted to wait and try it until after the episode. You know what I mean? So, we'll Amazon it. I don't know if I'll go for the super expensive one. I'll probably just try for the the $50 one that's expensive enough for me. And uh, we'll, we'll see. But I'm, i got to admit, I'm a little bit nervous. Like, it's at the point for me where there's... I like it enough where down the line i'd probably get a more expensive one I, I not the hot water don't care but i really want that heated seat and i wouldn't mind the nature sounds maybe some rgb lights a gamer seat i do not <laughs> want a heated seat there's no way in hell i want a heated seat because the first thing i'm going to think of is getting on the toilet after somebody else is already there and the seat is still warm that's just the grossest feeling i'd rather give that get that cold shock of porcelain to my butt cheeks just jack the heat up and just burn those germs away i'm in the arctic well okay paul <laughs> do you have do you have your own toilet that only you use or is there just a communal one at no. your place? okay so I, I i could understand that i mean i'm i'm okay with sitting down after my wife and my kids but I, I i understand what you're saying about like oh god there's still fresh germs on there from the last person who was here i i, I get that so is is less so the germs, and it's just the thought of someone else was just pooping, and I'm just like, <laughs> but then then I'm like cognizant of it, and I'm like, is there a smell? Is there like it's just it kind of just throws me off, and it does not give you the optimal experience that you should that you've deserved during your day. All right, right, like, and this will sound kind of stupid, but again, either all of it's a joke or none of it's a joke, right? Uh, but it's 20, what, what years is 2021? Why why are we still so barbaric with our poo needs? You know what I mean? Like the toilet paper. Exactly. But yeah, like it seems like this should be something that is, I don't say more convenient, but, uh, you know, I, I like what Paul it, said it, about. It really is. Yeah. It is. It's a quality of life. It is way more convenient. It's just it's just one of those things that's become the norm. Like, you know, everybody wants green grass. Why? And where did that start from? It's just somebody showing off how much money they had. It's like, oh, we don't need to grow a garden or vegetables. We're just going to grow weeds. You know, that's what it, that's all mm-hmm. the lawn started out as. So, I mean, it's the same thing with toilet paper. It's just like, yeah, oh, we're just going to keep making this stuff. Why is it 400 years after they've come out, why is it I'm sitting in a shitty bathroom at a Costco using single ply toilet paper in a rush while some old man's banging the door saying I'm taking too long and that it's not a sport? Why? And, why are we and in this every position? time you try to and, and they cut, they tear by the square because they're so thin. Uh, it, they don't. Or have if the, you don't have any at all, they don't have the tensile strength to let you get more. <laughs> but days and every wash them across Canada and America. Mm. Make it happen. Those not industrial, but those commercial toilet paper rolls, like holders that are so stiff that yeah, you can't even roll it off. Yeah, it rips. Like when it's brown, you know, you're just you're in for hurting. Oh God. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If instead of ply, it comes in grit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is the most handyman joke I will ever make. I'm proud of you. That's yeah. You've been listening. I like it. Right. 
So bidets, it sounds like across the board. Yes, yes, yes. Is that right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Correct. Wolf? Okay. Especially for the cost, right? Yeah, over time, it'll save you money because you're not buying so much toilet paper. Mm-hmm. Uh, clean up is quicker. Leaves you feeling fresher. Wakes you up in the it, morning. It wakes you up in the morning. It it cools you off after a, a particularly uncomfortable one. Paul, it sounded like you were about to quote somebody. <laughs> I believe it was Lord uh, Percy Blythe. Shell, I don't know his name. I uh, insert some fancy poet's name here. This is the shit. Oh yeah, that was that was Jay. That was Kanye. Mic drop. Oh fuck that. Well, I'm taking that back. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not we can we can punch in a different him. name. We'll flush it in post. <laughs> we'll flush it Ooh. in post. All right, cool. Well, you know, <laughs> I think I uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to pull the trigger on this one. Um, I think it would be fun, and we can edit this out if we decide not to do it. But if we want to, I think for a Patreon video, we should each demonstrate the uh, high setting on our bidets. Obviously, we won't be sitting there. <laughs> But just have somebody hold the towel in front of it and just, you know, let it rip. Or bullseye. Yeah, or bull yeah, whatever you want. I'll just recreate my test from when I first set it uh-huh. up. <laughs> Shoot myself in the chest. And see that's I uh, okay. So this is more about my wife than it is a bidet. Uh we like to prank each other quite a bit. And I fear that she would purposefully leave it on the highest possible setting in order to destroy me. Uh rectally. If you got one like me in Werewolf, then it's yeah. It's either off it's or on. Like, yeah, it's <laughs> if it's on the highest possible setting, it's on and mm-hmm. spraying everywhere constantly. So yeah, yeah. See, mine's a dial, and you slowly crank the dial. So you you can you have that fine level of control mm-hmm. <laughs> with the pressure, but the the water pressure in my house also sucks. Gotcha. So that's part of it too. Oh, and this would if you guys don't mind me asking, have you seen a dramatic increase in water bill? We don't get nope. water bills where I am. Oh, my God. I just got mine. But you know what, though? I think the toilet paper savings probably makes it worth probably it. Probably offsets it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And Wolf? It's much more environmentally friendly as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Oh, huge. We haven't okay. seen a massive increase in the water bill by any means. Okay. Because I, if we're going to do an episode on this, I want to try to cover all the bases or you know concerns other people might have. So it sounds like they're hygienic and, and, like I said, cost efficient, so that's good. And environmentally friendly, which is a big plus for a lot of people, uh, myself included. So uh, any negatives from you guys at all? Anything that you don't like about the bidet? It just ruins the streamlined look of the toilet sometimes. Yeah. Okay. So if you like an aerodynamic-looking toilet, this is not for you. It's just asymmetrical, and it kind of drives me nuts. It, it uh, but throws that's just, a big that's just old me. arm off the side of it that's just like, hey! <laughs> that's, now, now I have to assume that's what all the days sound like if they were humanoid. Like, hey, everybody! I got you, butt yeah. water! <laughs> just let me know when! Give me a little squeeze! You, you want now? No, now. Now? Now. No, you didn't mean that. You you just touched me by accident. Okay, sorry. Well, and and you know, I I um, this is stupid. People are gonna hate me for this. I'm a sentimental type, so whenever I throw a toothbrush away, I have this moment of like, thank you for your service, toothbrush. <laughs> I assume that things that are not real still have feelings, and you know, some water is destined to be part of a waterfall or a glacier, and then there's some water molecules that are just meant to be expelled, and right before they find out what their destiny is, they just see a butthole. <laughs> and, you know. Well, think of it. It's the same thing with, with sun, like photons, little packets of light that the sun emits. You know, these light beams travel 92 million miles. It ends up hitting me, and I feel so bad about it. I'm like, I'm so sorry. All right, guys, I'm not going to – I'm not doing this to be funny, but I got to poop. I'm a little bit jealous. Yeah, you should be. I'm going to use my bidet. We'll wrap it up before I, I reveal even more of my sentimental nonsense side. So final thoughts on this one. We'll start with you, Paul, so that way you can get to your business. Do it. Do it. No, that's, that's okay. That's you encouraging me to get a bidet? Yeah, that's it. Okay. I'm not plugging my stream. I'm just telling you to get a bidet. Do it. Well, how about you plug your stream as well? 
No, I don't want to. I'm going to plug plug my bidet. <laughs> don't plug your bidet. You're going to need that. True. Hi, I'm Polish109. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Polish109. That's P-A-L-S-H 109. Also, Jake. I'm just going to put you in mute for the rest of the episode. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so in all serious, with bidets, I'll go, if you don't mind, sir. No, please. Okay. Yeah. So the thing, with, the thing I had an issue with mine is you have to look at the supported toilet models, which I didn't even know there were different models. Well, I guess I knew. I didn't realize how impactful it'd be on the bidet choice. So I have a French style toilet, apparently. And uh, it's not meant to fit with bidet attachments. I got lucky. The Tushy actually is a certain size where it did fit, barely. But you have to really look at what toilet you have and look online before you make that uh, flush. See, that's interesting because I think mine is a 2017. So I don't know. I don't know if that'll be compatible. That's a weird thought. You're right. Like, can anybody look at a toilet and be like, oh, yeah, great. The 2021s are out now. This is wonderful. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it's a late model toilet, you know. Yeah, you get a letter in the mail. There's a recall on this bidet model (laughs) you got there. Could explode. (laughs) Yeah, Dear God, what could go wrong? Uh... Then you send the air fryer back by mistake. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Nice. No, I'm never getting rid of that. Everybody should have an air fryer. Uh, And Wolf, final thoughts on bidet? Pay for the spray! Pay for the spray. Get one. (laughs) <laughs> okay, I, I will be doing that. I will keep everybody abreast of the situation. And I, I like this episode. I always love the what the actual fucks are. I like that we're doing a kind of silly one that's not, you know, retro or video game or movies. Uh, although I am excited to get back to I those. mean, this is the um, most retro one we've done at this point. Yes. 1600s? Yeah. 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 That's a good point. A good and there's point. a plumber joke in there. We haven't made Mario jokes enough, but that's okay. So, yeah, I, yeah guys... Thank you very much um, to everybody who, who's out there listening and learning along with me. Thanks for sticking with it. Uh, I'm sure everybody at this point knew that we were all full of shit. Uh, but now at least you guys know that we're, we're clean. So they are. I Hopefully soon we'll be as well. All right. So until next time, Paul, Jake, Wolf, thank you very much for joining me. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. As a disclaimer, to anyone who is grossed out by this episode, we're very sorry. This was all meant in good fun as our April Fool's Day episode this year. So thank you for listening if you stuck through it. April Fool's! Maybe we'll put that at the beginning of the episode. Yeah, I think I I do think we should have a disclaimer before or afterwards, but I think we can leave yeah. that one at the end. I think it's a public best. service. This is this is our public <laughs> duty <laughs> See the, yeah. to the internet You said public. duty. It's our number public two. Duty mission at press b is to be educational our number two priority is education i you know what i should have done i should have at some point been like still recording what if you have what if you have unique anatomy back there like some sort of add-ons or something that didn't come default with your your vestigial tail yeah or hemorrhoids (laughs) or you know other things is it safe for that? Will it help with any sort of... It does, actually. So I have hemorrhoids. <laughs> okay. And it's actually, it makes a huge difference because I'm not wiping it with sandpaper. Okay. So we have to keep this in there now. Somebody <laughs> wants to cut this and move it to the middle. I just want the sound clip. I have hemorrhoids. <laughs> Preparation H. Unofficial Preparation sponsor. H. Press B to cancel. Feels good on the whole. All right. I got to go. Bye, Retro. All right. Later, man. Thank you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Retro. Special thanks for music. Go to Arthur the Last Ancient on Spotify or The Last Ancient on Bandcamp. For more episodes, please visit our website at pressb2cancel.com. And also, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and check us out on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Patreon. As always, thank you. This has been Press B to Cancel.